It is the one that made me give him my number. It is the one that made me follow him. It's the one that made me get his attention. I was in this fragrance. Hello besties and welcome back to the channel dwelling. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today you guys, we are talking about, we are talking about winter heavy hitters. It is winter, it is raining, the temperatures have dropped, SZA has put out, was it SZA? I don't think it was SZA. Leave in the comment section if you know who sings this song. It's cuffing season, all the girls are needed. We need a big boy. Okay, anyways. <laughs> We need a heavy hitter fragrance. We need something that's gonna cut through the cool temperatures, something that's gonna sit close to the body but yet purr, something that's gonna grab their attention, command their attention, take their attention, but then at the same time, you know the one, right? Hold their attention. Anybody can catch it. Can you hold it? Can you keep it? Anyways, you guys, here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwelling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into or you wanna be a part of, stop what you're doing. Drop me right now. What are you rocking? You know I wanna know. So leave it in the comments section right now. Take a 2.5, drop what you're rocking, and if this is your vibe, your zhuzh, you seem like this is a place you would want to be, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, but don't stop there. No, 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 no. Don't stop there. Don't play with it, don't play it. You guys, I have got to stay off TikTok, but I have so much fun over there. Anyways, um, come on over and say hi on Instagram. That's how I'll know you're truly a bestie. Without further ado, we are jumping in right now. You guys, I am so excited. I had two cups of coffee. I had an amazing day yesterday. I went nowhere. I stayed in the house all day and I got way too much rest. Okay, way too much rest. I finished up Emily in Paris. I gotta give you a quick 2.5. Hello? I finished up Emily in Paris. I started Gossip Girl. Oh my gosh. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm gonna finish that. It's a lot. It's a lot. But anyways, yeah, I'm here to bring to you 10 or so fragrances that will be perfect for winter, perfect for right now, and yeah, you guessed it, perfect for cold weather. Coming in no particular order, I am starting with this fragrance right here. I'm gonna tell you like this. This right here is absolutely good, good. This is an amazing fragrance. Just look at the bottle in itself. It is absolutely gorgeous. I was sent this fragrance uh, by Golden Scent. They sent it over maybe last year sometime. This is a perfect season for it. It is a very sexy, oh my gosh. Ooh, it's a heavy hitter. It's sexy, it's a heavy hitter, it's sensual. It's definitely gonna get in the body tight. Hold it, never let it go. Let me give you a few of the notes. We're just covering a few of the notes today. We have some red apple in it, rose, cedarwood, amber, musk, and caramel. This is more of your, I believe it said, it's an Arabic fragrance. And a lot of you were asking if I can find some Arabic fragrances and bring them over to the channel. Girl, guy, I got you. Okay, I'm working on it. This is also a unisex fragrance. I will have all of the information on where you can shop this and pick this up in the description box below, but this is definitely unique. It is definitely date night. It is signature scent worthy. It's just like a heavy hitter. It smells like you went somewhere and you knew you were supposed to be there. It smells like a bougie luxury hotel over in Dubai. I move on. Oh, that is so good. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Okay, okay. Our next one, you guys. We all know that Rihanna is doing the Super Bowl dwelling. And this fragrance has been all over TikTok, all over Instagram. Everybody is talking about it again. They're talking about love, don't be shy. I'm talking about love, don't be shy, extreme. This is it right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. We all know that Rihanna was set to wear this. It has a beautiful Othamanthus. It has a marshmallow note in it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I would recommend this. This is good for date night. This is good for cuffin season. Hello, this is good for cuffin season. It sits close to the body. It's a little bit gourmand even. It's very sexy. This is something that I would reach for if I was gonna go out on a date night. We were gonna go out and it was gonna come back in and we was gonna stay in. It was gonna be one of those nights. <laughs> I was gonna go from dusk to dawn. This is definitely something I would reach for. It opens up with orange blossom, a little bit of neroli. It has some bergamot in it. Down in the base, you'll get the vanilla, the pomegranate, and then you'll get, um, some musk. It is a beautiful fragrance. You probably have heard about this fragrance over and over and again, over and over again. Once they said Rihanna Ward, it was just like sold. But this right here, 
it is good good i move on we're not gonna spend a lot of time here because i talk about this fragrance all the time every season of cold weather i talk about this fragrance so now this is more polished more professional more formal in my opinion more going out more um what would you say a day shopping um maybe a day at the um what did you do? Uh, you go to the, where do you go? Where do people even go? I don't know. It's not like a date night fragrance. I don't reach for this for date night. This is not one that I would reach for for cuffing season, but it's definitely one I would rock to the office. I would rock um, with friends if we were just going to be going somewhere to sit out. It's more of a sophisticated, classy type of fragrance. And that is How De Fetti by Penhaligon. This is absolutely gorgeous. I am very dressed up when I wear this, and I don't mean like a pretty girl kind of dressed up, I mean like a businesswoman, classy. Definitely, it just gives me rich, classy vibes. It's definitely one of those, it's a warm spicy, it has some oud, bergamot inside, jasmine, tonka bean, vanilla. I have so many videos on the, my channel regarding this fragrance, but for those of you that are in the workplace every day and you're looking for something to be a little bit different, this is a heavy hitter. This is gonna get on you, hold you tight, at least for me, and never let me go. This this is not one that's gonna be a fly by night. This is not here for a good time. This is here for a long time. This is gonna be with you. So this is somebody you would reach for that's gonna stand the test of time. It's also a classic fragrance. I would even say timeless. So for those of you that are in the office or more of the professionals and you're going out and you're looking for something to add to your collection or maybe be a little bit unique, cause I don't hear everybody talk about this. I definitely say it is a acquired type of fragrance palette that one would reach for this but this for me is right up my alley like i said when i was in the office and i was going different places working in hotels doing different things like that this was all the rage for me right now it's definitely i'm reaching forward when i'm going out for like a business day but that is pen helen's how the fetty i move on now you know you can put fragrances in whatever category you put them in i'm just sharing with you where she's placed them i move okay i have been reaching for this one i wore this last night and if you follow me on instagram i shared that with you that i was wearing this fragrance last night it has been raining here like crazy you guys seriously like it's so cloudy out right now can you see it i guess you can't because i got all the lights on but it's so cloudy right now and it's so gloomy and i'm not a gloomy cloudy girl you know that about me if you don't know no she doesn't do clouds and rain and gloom i am sunshine and butterflies and cupids and bow ties i'm just saying anyways this is scarlet poppy intense by joe malone this is it here I have found a place to compartmentalize this. A lot of you asked me about this fragrance, asked me if I picked it up, what I thought about it. So I went in Sephora, played with it. The last time that they had their sale, I said, I have a place in my life for this. This is definitely, in my opinion, where I have placed it in the house. In the house, chill vibes, not really doing too much. It does not have, in my opinion, the best longevity on its own. We all know that about Jo Malone. Some hit a little bit different. Um, my Mirth and Tonka hit harder, my Rose and Oud, or is it just Rose? I don't know, but whatever the ones are in the black uh, bottles, they stay a little bit longer. This was pretty. It got on the body, we chilled on the couch all day. Um, I made coffee, <laughs> I stayed in my PJs. I looked cute even in the house. Hello, Zoli. Um, Yeah, it was really good. It was perfect for being in the house, perfect for chilling on the couch. I took a shower, I got out, I doused myself in my Karma Sutra, and then I put this on top. I layered this over it, and it was really good. I've worn it on its own. It gives me about the same longevity. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's not heavy, it's not in your face. It's perfect for every day, perfect for the office, perfect for those of you that are looking for something that's not gonna be, you know, that's not gonna uh, get there before you do it's something that you can reach for that's an easy reach it's very pretty and to me very versatile to me it's meant to be worn year-round but it's very cozy and very comforting and that's why I place it in my winter fragrance a little bit of the notes inside of this one is amber grid it's orris fig poppy uh, tonka bean it's beautiful it's a beautiful fragrance like I said moderate when it comes to longevity it's a pretty girl yeah, but it's nice. Oh my God, and it just makes me happy. It's very comforting. I would definitely say if you haven't, it's definitely one to get a whiff of. I move on. Oh my God, you guys, this fragrance right here is the fragrance that made me give Tom Ford my phone number. It is the one that made me give him my number. It is the one that made me follow him. It's the one that made me get his attention. I was in this fragrance every single weekend. Me and my guy. And I was like, okay, it's enough. We gotta put it down. This is like the third bottle. I don't reach for it as often because my collection has grown tremendously. But every time I take off the cap and smell it, I'm like, this is why I fell in love with Tom Ford. This is why I did it. 
Girl, tell us which one. It was this one right here. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know, now this is not going to be for everybody. This is polarizing. This is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. This is not going to be everybody's cup of coffee. It's just not going to be, it's not meant for everybody. Those that get it, get it. And those that don't, don't. And that's okay. We don't all have to love the same things. But this for me right here, the truffle, the cacao, um, the vanilla, it's so uber sexy. To me, it's very formal. It's kind of dressy. It's in your face. It's like, there is no denying it. I am here. What's good? What you want to do? This fragrance will get there before you do. This fragrance will stay there long after you have left. This fragrance will be in your car after you get out and you come back in the next day and you sit down and you put your seatbelt on. Tom Ford Black Orchid. That's what it is. This is the kind of vibe it gives you. It's very sexy. I've compartmentalized it like anything date night if it's not really sexy i'm not even reaching for it and i don't even want it like that this right here is an oldie but goodie i believe it was released in 2006 i could be making that up okay check the description box for accuracy but this is where it's at this is what made me give tom for my phone number he still didn't call he still didn't call that's all right tom that's all right i already know but this is what made me give you my phone number i'm a one <laughs> I don't know, you guys, he still might call. Okay, keep hope alive. This is the new year. Keep hope alive. He might call. Another one that's really good is this one here. It is Smoking Ebony. It's, I'm, a, I'm a hot girl. I like the hot fragrances. I'm a hot girl. I like the hot fragrances. <laughs> I you guys, yesterday I had way too much rest, okay? Way too much rest. I'm not a girl that really likes to slow down. So a quick 2.5. So even in the midst of me sitting on the couch, I was vlogging yesterday, so I was talking to the vlog, so look out for that vlog. I'm having a blast with the vlogs. But anyway, I was telling myself, sit down, just do nothing. My God was like, let's just chill, let's not do nothing. And I was like, God, but I feel like I should be doing something. It was so hard for me to sit down and for me to relax. I have my iPad over here. I have my cell phone in my hand. I had the TV going. And I was just like, what am I doing? And so I put everything away. We found a show. And if the show's really good and it holds my attention, I'm not even looking at any screens. But if it's not, I'm a wander. But Gossip Girl was holding my attention a little bit. And Emily in Paris had already captured me. Okay, back to the video. Anyways, um, yeah, this one here is smoky. It's hot. It's heavy. It's sexy. I put this on. And I, I shouldn't have put this on. I put this on during the rain, and I was staying in the house, and I was like, girl, big mistake. Because it made me want to go out. It's sexy. It's hot. It's heavy. It's fiery. I'm going to say this. It's not a beast, though. It does not have, like, a huge projection, like, Black Orchid or some of the other Tom Ford fragrances. This is good. It gave me a good six hours, but it wasn't like purring in your face, like purr. It wasn't given all that, but it was given a slight like, you know it was there. You know what I mean? This has Palo Santo. Hello, we all know how I feel about Palo Santo. Black pepper, listen to the notes. Leather, labdomum, risen, okay, Gaiac wood. This is a fragrance made for my own heart. Tom, thank you. Oh my God. Ooh, oh my God. See, it'd be like that sometime. It'd be like that. If you have not tried this, I know my friend Durant. I know how you feel about this. This right here is good, good. If you haven't tried it, I'd highly recommend giving it a whiff. Now, you know over here, I encourage you to try before you buy. This is not blind buy worthy. I move on. Let's talk about Love Fest. Okay, let's talk about it. I came home after getting Cherry Smoke, the new release by Tom Ford. And I said, cause you all were asking, well, what do you think? Are they comparison? Do I need both? Do I need that? This right here yesterday, as I played, cause I did play in fragrance yesterday. As I played with it, I said this, oh, did I even show you the bottle? My bad, sorry. Here's the bottle guys. Let me give you some of the notes. Cause you know they on the back. Burning cherry, raspberry, praline, Palo Santo, hello, Gayak wood and patchouli. Those are the notes inside of Love Fest Burning Cherry 48, released by Kayali. Now, I played with this yesterday and I said this took me to the type of cherry that you would find in a Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Jolly Rancher, remember they had watermelon, strawberry, cherry. That was the type of cherry I got from this. I sprayed it and I was like, you know what? This is that cherry. It's almost like a cherry sucker too. It's a candy cherry to me. It's sweet, but not too sweet. I don't get a lot of the smokiness from it, 
or burning, it says burning, right? I don't get a lot of the smoky or burning, but I definitely get the cherry and more of a candy kind of cherry, very sweet cherry, like a dripping cherry. <laughs> just say just stop, girl, stop. That's the picture I'm painting. That's what I get from it. This right here is good, good. I would highly recommend getting it um, or getting a whiff of it. I would say too, it held on my body pretty, you know, tightly, I would say moderate. It wasn't like a huge beast, but it definitely stayed on. It did not dry to a skin scent. Now this is all on me. We all know that fragrances are subjective. They perform differently on everyone. And I will be honest with you, sometimes they perform differently on me just depending on the day, what I ate, what I moisturized with, um, how much water I hydrated with. It depends on a lot of things. So always, you know, Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Know that I'm gonna always tell you the truth, but I cannot say it's gonna perform for you how it performed for me. But I'm always gonna spill the tea. Bars, Cardi B, I am still waiting on your call as well. Anyways, you guys, this right here is worth the whiff. I move on. Let's talk about the new one to the collection. This here, you thought I was gonna leave it out. I told you, when I got it, I was gonna not stop talking about it. This is Tom Ford and this is Cherry Smoke. Now this right here is good. This is hot, this is heavy. This has got the leather note in it. It's got the dark plummy kind of cherry note in it. It's a very dark plum, very um, dark cherry, I would say too, almost like a black cherry. It's rich, it's liquory. Oh my gosh, girl, just tell us about it. And I don't have a lot to waste. You guys know this is a 50 mil and it's $390. I don't have none to spray on paper, okay, none but the smoky note in this. Now, this is a different kind of cherry. It's a little hotter, it's a little heavier, it has a little bit more depth to me. There is some oud in here, it's called Cypro or something. I had to look it up, do a little bit of research. I was like, oh, okay, so that is a form of oud. I'll put the notes on the screen because I don't have these notes memorized. But this right here, this is good. So many of you said that you were gonna try it out. Some of you said that you were gonna try and get a sample. I definitely recommend getting a sample. I will say in this video, same as I said in the other video, this is a 50 mil retailing for $390. However, if you check at Nordstrom's um, online or maybe even in store, you can get a 30 mil and that retails for $240. I will have everything linked for you in the description box below. This is hot and heavy. The longevity on me was there. It to me is a lot stronger and heavier than Electric Cherry, but Electric Cherry has its own presence. Full dedicated review to both of those up on the channel now, should you check, should you want to check that out in more depth and details. But this is definitely a heavy hitter for this winter and I'm gonna be rocking it. I move on. Let's talk about Grish Charnel by BDK. I absolutely love this. I typically reach for this year round. It does not have to be um, a certain time of year, but it is really, really good and I love it. The dent in here is real, okay? They always say turn it to the other side. There's a dent there, okay? And it's real. This is good, it's cardamom, it's fig, um, it's black tea, it's iris, it's bourbon vetiver, it's sandalwood, it's tongue it's sexy. If you want something sexy, if you want something for you or your guy, unisex, you can wear, you can share, uh, this is the type of fragrance to go with. It smells good on him, it smells good on me. <laughs> Ooh, this is the kind of fragrance that makes you want to stay the night. It's like, well, where are you going? He's like, well, you know, I gotta get back to the crib. You like, for real, well, you know, you can just crash here if you want. He's like, bet. Ah, did you get that? <laughs> You guys, I tell you the truth, it was way too much rest. This right here is BDK, Grish Arnell. I have a 20% off discount code with Soavin Card. You already know I'm gonna link it in the comment section below. I move on. And of course, I know you didn't think I was gonna leave this out. Side effect. Oh my God, by Anishio, by Anishio Parfum. You guys, I could not leave this out, okay? Don't ask me to do it. It's rum, it's vanilla, it's tobacco. This is where it's at. This is sexy. This is sexy. Man, woman, boy, child, human, pull up, rock it. And when you rock it, rock it with some confidence own it, <laughs> stunt in it, okay? People are watching, I found out. People be watching, so when you know they watching, give them a show and ask them, can I get you some popcorn to go with that? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyways, um, you guys, this right here is so good, so long lasting, so fitting for right now, so uber, uber sexy. This is good for girls night, this is good for uh, if you were just gonna go hang out and turn up with the girls and you just might wanted to just feel like that girl for the night. You were wearing something real sexy and classy. Notice how it says sexy and classy because we do both over here. This is something that you would reach for. This right here is side effect and it is good, good. I move on. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I truly, truly appreciate you. You know I love you like cooked food. You guys, I cannot tell you. Get some rest. <laughs>
<laughs> all this energy came from rest. It's even on 10. Normally I'm always energized, right? I'm like, ah, but today it's, I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. My family is about to think I am absolutely bananas. It's okay, it's okay. They get me, they know me, they know me. Anyways, um, I will talk to you beautiful souls in the next one. Make sure you turn on your post notifications, you guys, because I'm just dropping videos. It might be like a week of videos for every single day. It's definitely gonna be, in case you didn't know, I post month, no I don't. I post Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I try and sprinkle something in during the week as well, but those are the posting dates. But if you turn on your post notification bell, you are guaranteed to never miss a video. If you wanna make sure that you never miss any of the communication over here, make sure you follow me over on Instagram because I post every single day over there as well. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, duelings. Thanks for watching. Bye.